Welcome to AIHA's State and Federal Government Relations Update. I'm Mark Ames, AIHA's Director of Government Relations. This week has been a busy week as we've all sought to recover from the AIHCE. We hope that you were able to attend and join us in Philadelphia. Uh, there's been a lot of things that have happened over the past week. The chairwoman of the Chemical Safety Board is going to resign sometime in June. Uh, and the silica rule is under fire in Congress again. We thought that after a time that uh, was something that we wouldn't have to necessarily uh, deal with that much, uh, but unfortunately it has come up again as an issue. It is under threat in Congress again, and it's definitely something that everyone is going to want to pay close attention to uh, throughout the rest of the year. Uh, there are a lot of other bills and regulations that we're watching at the state and federal level, even though most states, uh, state legislatures are out right now. There still is quite a bit of activity, particularly in California and a few other places. I invite you to check out the over 100 bills and regulations that we're tracking. There's a list at the bottom of our Government Relations Action Center. But one of the other things that is important about this week is that it's the beginning of hurricane season. So June 1st is the technical beginning of hurricane season, but even earlier we've seen flooding in places like Ellicott City, which is near AIHA's headquarters in Falls Church, Virginia, in the surrounding area. And, and so I wanted to bring in uh, Russ Hayward, who is AIHA's in-house industrial hygienist, uh, CIH, and ask him if one of our members was either in an area affected by a natural disaster, maybe they have a friend or family sure. that's been affected. If, you, if they asked you, what, what can I do, then what would you say to them? So Mark, thanks for inviting me to this, to this discussion. So yeah, uh, an industrial hygienist that gets called, that wants to get involved in a, in a disaster response, you know, I think really what they ought to be thinking about are the resources that uh, AIHA has developed. We have a host of resources that are available on our webpage that address natural disasters and responding to those disasters, the aftermath of those disasters. I think what the industrial hygienist needs to be concerned about are not really responding directly to the emergency, but providing support to the emergency responders. And that's what those resources that we've developed uh, do for the industrial hygienist. We have resources on uh, wildfires, um, flooding, hurricanes, tornadoes, uh, earthquake hazards. We also have technical documents on mold, mold cleanup that can be used by the industrial hygienists out there in the field. But these are wonderful resources that are put together by uh, subject matter experts in, in the various areas of disaster response. Uh, they provide a wealth of information. They also provide additional locations and links to additional agencies and other resources that uh, a person can uh, seek out information from. Uh, but they are really what we have available to us. I do not recommend that the industrial hygienist himself or herself run right out to the emergency unless they're trained, properly equipped, have been requested to do so. Otherwise, I would just contact those emergency response groups and provide your support. We have a wealth of support that we can provide to those agencies, those responders, uh, when asked. Perfect. Thank you, Russ. And so if any of our members wanted to get involved in either reviewing or developing or, or learning more about that on an even deeper level and, and really getting involved in the development or review of those documents and maybe some of the others that you referenced, then how might they go about doing so, that? So uh, our industrial hygienists, we have committees within the association that they can get involved with. We have an incident response and preparedness uh, working group. We have an indoor environmental quality work uh, committee that both of these groups work on emergency response uh, plans, documents, resources. Uh, that's a good place to start. We have other committees, I'm sure, that also touch on emergency response. They just need to contact myself or you or Thursa at the association and we can help get them involved. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Russ. Uh, thank you so much. Be safe. Thank you for listening. Take care. Bye.